All right. We are down here. Ready to take care of some... Oh, hey. Ready to take care of some critters. Imagine there's a lot of stuff down here now that that quest is over. <laughs> Super annoy. Uh-oh. Uh, uh Do I dare? Bit busy. <laughs> uh, I kind of like these names. But now we should probably, before interacting with all of them, take care of the... Uh, of the time limited event portion. I'm gonna hurt the poor trotter there. Huh. More enemies. Time for a bug. <laughs> this is our chance. Mmm, let's just keep hitting the trotter. Just a scratch. Ow. Stop that. Is that, fine? Is that all? Let's make it quick. Yeah, it's five. Stop outrage. Stop raging me. Confusing me. Jerks. Can I have fun this time? I start getting you guys. <laughs> That all. Let's go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Rules are made to be broken. Trotter will be down. Perfect. Hope you're prepared. Unworthy. Blade of moonlight. Excellent. Yeah, no, not quite. Huh. More enemies. Time for a bug. <laughs> right, you guys need to stop that. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. That one's almost down. Shoot. Fun this time. Ready for time. There we go. Tough little buggers. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Is it over here? Ah, yes. Hello there, uh, helper robot. Hello, I am the helper robot who looks after Madame Ron May's creations. It is a pleasure to serve. Before we begin with the nurturing, please allow me to explain the process. Let's get to it. Nurturing how? The space station is analyzing the genetic components of the creations, and we must nurture more creations due to insufficient sample size. The two parental creations are ready. We use this life form oven to keep nurturing new creations. Creations all have different genes and can express different traits. Please note that every time a new creation is nurtured or a new trait is discovered, it will bring great benefit to our research. Lead researcher Asta's remote messenger is now online. Now, please follow the lead researcher's instructions. Thank you, Asta. Okay, so we're breeding these things? Innocent fairy angel cake. These are adorable. Two creations prepared for you have uh, already been placed in your inventory. Uh, looks like this crea creation's skin is gray. Looks red to me. Its outer shell is gray. Oh, that one's. I see. Its filling is pink. That's what it. That's its skin, and that's its filling. <laughs> oh God. In the in the in the life form oven. These base traits all have a chance of being inherited by new creations. Next, open the life form oven and nurture some creations. Right here. In the life form oven, the base traits of the two parental creations have a random chance of being inherited by new creations. By nurturing creations and obtaining new traits or rare creations, you can increase your research level. 
Okay. Constantly nurturing creations can increase your research level and earn various rewards. It's like a more advanced Tamagotchi? No. That we have to take care of? Select the two creations prepared for you and put them in the uh, life form oven. All right. Life form oven is ready. Start nurturing. Ooh, we got a gray skin and filling. Innocent coconut angel cake. Aww. Uh -huh. The newly nurtured creation huddles up next to the chassis of the robot, carefully sizing you up. It whizzes out before you're even able to see what color its tail is. Presumably gray as well. It only spawned not long ago, so it may not be used to life here yet. I don't know where it's scuttled off to. It's not safe to go outside. Still, can you please find it? Sure. Could be something where we have to wait a certain amount of time between parts to actually complete it. If so, there's no chance of us getting all the limited time rewards. Where are you? Little guy. Oh, there's gray bean paste. Mung sentimental bean. <laughs> uh, I do love them. True loves frozen beans. There you are. Are you okay? Who are you? You recognize this creation as the one that just scuttled away. It reaches out with its paw toward the trash on the ground and is about to swallow it. Oh. <gasps> It really takes after me. You want to stop it, but it's already too late. It swallows the trash, then begins to tremble all over as its body starts changing uncontrollably. Uh oh. Meow. Perplexed creation. Are you transforming? Meow. Bring it back. Its appearance has been altered. Uh oh, it's got a trash can shell. Truly. You are a beautiful creation. But it doesn't seem to have an, ex uh, an explanation either. Decide to take it back to the helper robot. Perhaps it will have an idea. What's going on? Based on what you have just described, my initial hypothesis is that it has mutated after consuming the trash. The mutation has cha then changed the creation's physical traits. This hypothesis is not yet confirmed. But we can try to see if we can approximate the situation. I've reported the details to lead researcher Asta, and a remote connection is now established. Please turn on the life form oven. We are going to try a few things out. Sure. Nurturing can sometimes trigger mutation tr events. After depositing the materials needed, creations obtain mutant traits. Triggering special mutations, creations can become rare creations. After you have all the needed base traits, the life form oven will be able to calculate the resolution rate. The resolution rate indicates the probability of a mutation occurring. Oh, cool. 40%. Yeah. What should fulfill? Uh, that should fulfill all the base traits needed to make a trash cake. <laughs> to make trash cake a gray body creation. Don't call it trash. I mean, it's literally a trash creation, sure, but it's not. Uh. Yeah. Covered that already. This one gonna be an automatic success, yeah. Uh, that's a lot of trash. You triggered a mutation. The material clues needed to nurture rare creations will be displayed here. Little life form born in trash can. The gray creation seems to have consumed some trash. I think this one will do. Go on, give it a try. 
feed the creature the right materials to unlock the required mutant traits. Innocent berry angel cake. You're going to turn into something else? Because you unlocked new mutant traits, your research points have gone up to. Look, a clue for the require for required mutation material has been unlocked. When you unlock the corresponding clues, the resolution uh, resolution rate will be drastically improved. Yes, this has been improved. I have a feeling we'll definitely get trash cake this time. I mean, there was a thirty percent chance of failure. There we go. Special mutation triggered. Put forth. Materials and prepare for Trash Cake's birth. There we go. Got a Trash Cake. Trash Cake has become the first rare creation to be nurtured. Research points have been greatly increased. Bat, a new batch of creations. The traits of this batch are extremely unique. Yeah, I've... Hmm... I've created trash. Can't help but wonder where these special traits are actually coming from. The Department of Ecology's latest research has been downloaded. Loading. Please wait. What's that on top of their heads? That is their sensory organ. Think of it as a hat that comes with them. That is basically how I was thinking about it. Either a hat or a hermit crab shell. I have seen some creations whose physical traits greatly differ from most of the others. They drift around all over the place. If you get the chance, you might just run into one of them. It would be very good if you could bring one of them to me. With sufficient samples, the secrets of their physical traits can be decoded. What is the principle behind the mutations? I am sorry, this is not well understood. However, the Department of Ecology has sent two creation species that you can use for nurturing research. Next, please keep nurturing creatures to help speed up our research progress. The answers to all the questions you seek can be found through science. I got innocent berry splash melon. Aww. Innocent coconut corn chip. They are so cute. Oh, I love this one. It's got little white little paws and it's like a little tuxedo cat. So cute. So I need to unlock nine rare creations, uh, accommodate nine creations at the same time. Stand by me. Complete it all started with a man and a dog at three different difficulties. Okay. And then complete the mission, nurture, care, and reunion. Well, it doesn't seem that one I already did counted towards any of those numbers. Ooh, more Asta. Insight. Research level increased. Remember to claim your rewards. Already did. The research handbook has some rare creations and cre uh, creation traits recorded. Go have a look. This is where clues for rare creations are recorded. You can use it to search for information. This is where creation's traits are listed. New rare creation unlocked. Let's mark it and bring it back for nurturing. All right. Looks like the base traits don't match. It can't be resolved at all. Use the parental creations that have all the needed base traits. Um, I don't know, what base traits do I need? Well, it looks like we need a green shell. Yeah, okay. Innocent Coconut Splash Melon. Uh -huh. So I th think I'm supposed to go 
as a maple leaf, I think. I think we're supposed to go find that thing, though. Or not. Never mind. I guess let's just keep nurturing them. Mutation! What do we got? This guy loves eating maple leaves. Leaf of imaginary. Tier 2 synthesis material. Aha! Uh -huh, innocent fairy corn chip. So cute. See any of these better for this? Yes, you. I think. Another special mutation. There we go. Rice dumpling. It is so precious. Oh, I can take a photo of it. This reminds you of a past acquaintance. After giving it a quick groom, you take a close-up photo of it. A past acquaintance. Ooh, Don Hung. Why am I sending it to Don Hung? <laughs> Alright. It looks just like you. Uh, uh, does it? No. Its eyes are totally like yours! No. I'm sorry, Don Hung. I have never seen a life form like this before. If you have data about them, remember to enter them into the data bank once you get back up to the express. Oh, serious. You know, Don Hung, all work and no ploy makes Don Hung a dull boy. Excellent. Guess let's get another one then. Ooh, all base and mutant traits are listed here. Expanding the index can uh, earn research points. Okay, all the different fillings and the uh, skins and apparently patterns as well. And more. Eyes? Oh, there are multiple eyes. And decorations. Different mutant traits. Let's see, this creation needs more types of base traits. Let's call the new type pattern. Are there are there two creations that can simultaneously possess three these three basic traits? Yeah. Use the uh, filter function to quickly find a creation as the corresponding patterns. I mean, I don't have that many yet. There we go. I, I can't see. Damn it, get out of the way. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's actually a better one. There we go. Innocent berry corn chip. It is so precious. There's not a limit to this, is there? Am I using something up? Mutation! There we go. After eating something icy cold. Oh, it's got a pattern on the skin now. I don't think that's the right one. Is it? Well, that's not right. Ooh, a new mutation. Ah, there we go, a rare one. 
another innocent coconut corn chip. Was that the one we wanted? No, no, it was not. That should be 100% now. There we go. Ice cake! Oh, it is star eyes. It's so cute. Alright, who is this gonna be uh, March 7th? Yep. Today is also March 7th. It is not. Look! Aw. Whoa! What's that? It's so cute. Why does it look a bit like me? Did you dress it this way? Naturally adorable. This little light one is a life form created by Miss Ron May. It's naturally adorable. Whoa! Why don't you bring it back around the express for a spell? I want to get a few pictures of me holding it. Understandable. But also, no, still, this was created by you. Miss Ron May didn't do anything. Ah, yes, help a robot. Apparently, there is more we need to do now. A second part of this process. Still, how timely. Lead researcher Asta has, brought, uh, has bought some sleeping supplies for the creations. She calls this a kitty cot. <laughs> Relevant items have all been cataloged. Perhaps you can try using them to accommodate the creations you've nurtured. Absolutely. I hope it's as cute as it sounds. Let's see, you may place your creation favorite creations in different areas. Similar creations tend to get along better when placed together. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. How many can we put? Oh, a bunch. Probably one per seat. You are pretty cute. Creations are all very pleased with everything here. They have left you a little gift. Oh, thank you. What did they leave me? Oh, there's three more. sleeping in here. A strange snoring is coming from inside the experimental plant nurseries, which reminds you of a wondrous encounter with a talking plant elsewhere in the space station. It, I don't know if I recall that, but obviously there are no plants here, only half-dead weeds as far as the eye can see. You decide to do a good thing and pull out the weeds with your bare hands. Researchers may have been evacuated from here. But ignoring weeds in the experimental plant nurseries is no good. You enthusiastically reach out both hands to get started on the weeding process. Snort. Snoo. I know. Snort. Snooze. Feels pull out a heavy object. It's quite warm to the touch, too. Hi there. You give it an almighty yank. And out of this blue little... And out this... And out of the blue, this little thing pushes your hand away before looking up at you with puppy dog eyes. Oh, so cute, little sleepy creation. Owie, you almost pulled out my hair clip. Sorry, I thought these were all weeds. Oh my god. I don't have any weeds growing on my head. Look, these are flowers. My favorite for little pretty flowers. The soil here is very fertile, and a kind-hearted flower told me that pretty flowers would grow out of my head if I just lay there and lay here. I, I don't know if that's true. I kind of doubt it. Check on top of my head. Isn't it beautiful? I think that's a four-leaf clover. Hmm, it really is beautiful. Right? It's beautiful. That's right. How long have I been out for? Why am I the only one left? Where are my little friends? Have they all gone home? 
Oh, it's game over. I don't know the way back. How am I going to get home? I know where your home is. Oh, you've got a new home already. I'll go over right now. Thank you. Here's a little something for you. If you ever get the chance, please come back and help me look after the plants here. They're all really cute. Oh, forget it for now. They're asleep. So let's keep the noise down and try not to wake them. Try not to wake the plants. It's its way to the cozy new home. Shy honeybean splash melon. They're trying to kill me with all the sweetness. Cheeky creation. Swoosh, swoosh. <laughs> this is so fun. Wanna play? So on looking creation. Thanks. You guys have fun without me. Alright. Lively creation. Observe your latest achievements. You find them digging around in the trash. As though your achievements do not care from the, in the slightest about playing from the film. Nope. They were having so much fun that they completely ignored everyone else present. Trash was scattered everywhere, and you could see some creations frowning disapprovingly at, disapprovingly at the mess. Hurry over to the helper robot. Get it to clean up in here. Of course. Still, thanks to your efforts, many batches of creations have spawned. It's getting lively around here. Ask it to help clean up. I see. Well, they are still young. Their mind may not yet fully developed. But these concerns of yours are also reasonable. Even if cleaning performed da is performed daily, similar things will keep happening. They have plenty of fun like this, but other creations will suffer. I mean, if it doesn't work out, we can, they can always be put up for adoption. That won't work. Even if we put them up for adoption, similar situations will keep happening with other creations. But I gotta say, actually, that's a good point. I think these things would make excellent little pets. When the time comes, are you going to try and give away all the creations? Different creations have different needs. Some like to have fun, some like to be quiet, some are sloppy, and some are germaphobes. We can modify this zone and divide them by function, try and meet their needs to the greatest extent possible. Talking about renovating? It is a similar concept, but it won't be as complicated in practice. I have run some estimations. Their most basic needs are food and rest, and we have supplies on hand. It is wholly possible to create two separate areas based on that alone, and divide them according to their function. In the dining area, they just indulge in their meals. After eating, they can play nearby. Everyone's eating anyway, so they won't care. Those in the rest area should be keeping quiet. Those who are done eating in the dining area, or who have worn themselves out playing, can come here for a good sleep. And you've thought this out well. This way, any differences or friction between them can be gradually reduced. You just need to teach them how to use the different areas. Do we have to move them around manually? The intelligence levels among creations vary. We need to come up with a comprehensive approach. Images are the easiest way to get meaning across. You can spray a mark on the floor in the different areas. With graffiti or of what the area is for to alleviate any confusion. Of course. But. Helper robot look awkwardly looks at you. I'm sorry, but my levitation height is fixed and cannot be lowered. So. Alright. Fine, I'll do it. Then I will leave it to you. The spray device has been installed. Once you've finished the spraying, you can accommodate the creations in the corresponding areas. And please don't spray in the wrong place. This may cause unnecessary trouble for other robots. Of course. This is the rest area. Mm, looks comfy. Plenty of light and comfy cushions. What functions should we designate for this area? This area is for resting. Feels so good. Can you move your tail over here? I need a pillow. Aw, 
Don't you dare interrupt this quietude. Damn straight. Oh my, so cute. Ah. Oh. You guys need to clean still. Here we have a dining area. Life form oven is nearby. There's good ventilation here. And there's a table with all with the chairs all set up. What function should we designate for this area? I mean, this is clearly food. I think. Kaka! Time to eat! I'm pigging out! <laughs> Meow? Your head is too big. Please step back. I want to bite too. What do you guys eat? The creations hungrily chomp down the food. Raucously thanking you. What about the play area? They're happy and are, are getting on very well with each other. All thanks to you, Stell. Sure, sure is. The credit's all mine. You are more straightforward than most humans I've ever met. I really appreciate that. The, re the, the rezoning work appears to be yielding results. I have good news, some good news to tell you, Stell. Asta's giving me a bonus. <gasps> That's not it. Hmm, damn. I'm not sure if she would reward you for this. Screwlum recently upgraded my remote systems, and my operational scope has been expanded. You can leave them with me. I will send you regular reports so that you can rest easy. Work on the nurture side recipe and nurture more creations. After all that, it's still just more about nurturing. Lead researcher Asta is in charge of the research progress. You can open the nurturing manual to check the progress at any time. She promised to keep updates in there. Thank you. <gasps> Innocent orange corn chip. So cute. Innocent berry souffle. I love the names. Innocent coconut splash melon. Oh, I love that pattern. Oh, well, two new missions. Hey, for this one, we need you. This is two of those, and then we need blue. Well, that's the uh, special ingredient we needed. There we go. Has flowers sprouting from its head. Oh, those are seeds. Lambda's friend. Aren't you precious? Who do you look like? Past acquaintance, huh? Ah, Ron May. Those are new cakes. Where did you get them? This creation looks very much like you. It's like a miracle. I didn't think they would surprise me like this. When I was nurturing them, I didn't expect something like this would happen. Are you taking care of them? How is everything these days? Uh, how I've been recently? How they've been recently? Not bad. They're hanging out pretty nicely on the space station. I don't really have any worries besides missing you. <laughs> she has her own little uh, sticker. When you have time, can you take a full family photo of them for me? I'm curious what will become of these little life forms with their genes passing down through generations. Sure, though you should come visit them someday. They love you. You're not coming back to visit them. They all really want to see you. You sure you don't want to come back and visit them? I'm about to go on a faraway journey, beyond the surface area of a beacon. You can leave me messages, and I will give them a closer look when I return. Aw. New mutation, huh? Not sure which one of these we should really give it. Let's try this new material. Cute coconut splash melon. It's got hard eyes. There we go. This should all but guarantee it, right? There we go. All right. Hurt its tail after being uh, blown away by wind. Sesame cake. You look like you've seen some stuff.
I'm not sure who you look like. March 7th made sense. Ron May kind of did too. Oh, Blade. I technically shouldn't be on text in terms with him yet, but sure, why not? Have a look. Oh. I can see the resemblance. <laughs> is, that, is there one for me? <laughs> Silver Wolf. You really blade. Silver Wolf. Silver Wolf, isn't it? Silver Wolf, isn't it? Give the phone back to Blade. It's me, Silver Wolf. I showed it to Blady. He said it's very cute. Of course she hacked her friend's phones. All right, he didn't see anything, but I can tell. He definitely likes it a lot. Yeah, that makes more sense. I was like, I haven't met Blade yet, but I can tell. I'm pretty sure his personality is very much the stoic, silent type. Kind of a Don Hong uh, sort. I'll take your word for it, though. He likes it. Ooh, looks like we can't find two creations that have all three base traits needed. It'd be nice if we could transfer two base traits onto a new creation via combined inheritance. First, nurture creations that can fill both these base traits. Okay. Introvert coconut corn chip. Isn't that... That's a reference to a character. I think. From an anime. Oh my god, so precious. <laughs> there we go. Special mutation. Troublemaker. Oh, so precious. Let's see, who's that gonna be? I really, really can't guess. Oh, I actually don't recognize the name. Queen I uh, Fen. Not causing trouble, not fearing trouble, and no crazy. Holy! I encountered a little. Uh, oh, it's her. A little life form that looks just like you. So true. Where did you get such a cute little thing? You don't have. Why don't you bring it over to the Lafu, and let me have and uh, Su Shang have a look. Oh, you're friends with Su friends with uh, friends with Su Shang, are you? Oh, cutie pie, you look so adorable. Let me rub my face against you. It it doesn't want to come. Forget it. It's its own desires. Just want to go anywhere. Just wants to stay on the space the space station. If I get a chance, I think I can go to it instead. Hmm. Yeah, that should be a work trip for my stream. Wait, a stream? You like a streamer? Huh. Oh, hey, Asta. Still, did Peppy look for you? Why would he look for me? Why would you ask me? I tried calling him over. He wouldn't even lift a paw. Why would he look for me? Peppy's a big boy now. He has his own ideas. Curio was stolen recently, so I asked him to enlist your help. I kept seeing him in the storage room, so I thought you met him. Or thought you met up. Why would you send Peppy for me? If something's lost, shouldn't you ask the security department? Yeah. Arlen. Arlen can handle it. Jeez, Asta. Oh my god, come on. Ah. First, the lost curio is the joy filtration set. A key abuse to store happiness. It's very popular among the researchers, judging by the consistently high application rate. I'd like to start uh, investi uh, investigating uh, from... I'd like to start investigating from the researchers, but lately, Madame Ron May has been visiting the station. I'm worried this might not be a good look. Happy has a sharp sense of smell and does not attract attention wandering about. So I think he is the best for this investigation. Placed other zones under lockdown when everyone's uh, focused on Madame Ron May's visit. However, 
Kirby has gone radio silent. I'm concerned that it has uh, that it's run into danger. Still, you go have a look. Yeah, I'm feeling some deja vu for sure. Wait a sec. This all seems eerily familiar. Don't worry. Peppy's very obedient. Oh, right. I saw the specially made device on Peppy. When you find him, remember to activate the beacon. There's a surprise for you. Uh-oh. Ah, so what kind of surprise? Detective Peppy interlude. <laughs> oh, man. This whole critter pick thing is super involved. All right. Peppy, Peppy, Peppy. Or wait. You're not Peppy. Hello, little robot. Dear Stell, Peppy has arrived at the designated zone. The zone has been sealed off. Do we enter? Of course. What? Why is Peppy somewhere dangerous? All started with a man and a dog. Introduction. Peppy, who claims to be a genius detective. <laughs> Does Peppy claim anything? Peppy's a little puppy. Peppy, how smart are you? Are you the newest member of the Genius Society? Teams up with you to jump into the action in the space station, all in the pursuit of recovering the lost curio. All right. Peppy's going to kick some antimatter ass. I guess. Oof. I recommend a level 56. I hope the future ones aren't uh, too much higher. Otherwise, I might, might, I might not be able to do it all. Spotted by monsters less than five times in the sync mode. Collect all the encryption origami cranes and find the Ruanmei's creation. The Ruanmei, huh? That is asking for help. All right. Ooh, thought sync. Control Peppy to explore the current area while avoiding the monsters along the way. Wait. I'm controlling Peppy? Oh my god. Hmm. Maybe I should use Blade. I've used him a little bit. I... He kind of is a little better off with the healer. Jinbyo, witness my every move, my suffering. Wait, come again? Did you just say Jing Liu? I was not expecting... That kind of lore drop just now. Well. No, I'm not with Peppy. I was really hoping I was just to be controlling him. Control Peppy to explore the current area while avoiding the monsters along the way. Okay, where's Peppy? Oh, there's Peppy. Can't be spotted. Or spot less than five times. Hey, Peppy. Is that Peppy? Woof, woof. Let's rescue Peppy. How dare you try to attack Peppy, you bastards. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice. You're Never just falter. pure evil, aren't you? Let's go. Yeah. A blade knows no mercy. Your end approaches. I wonder if he's related to Jing Liu. He's gotta have some connection. I guess we'll find out in due time, but... Now I'm just really curious. Stand down. You impede me. Excellent. Tedious. Not too bad. All right, Peppy. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Peppy indicates for you to touch somewhere on its backpack. You press a button. Peppy is so cute. You hear a faint electronic voice. The Synthesia beacon has been activated. <gasps> we actually get to hear Peppy's thoughts. Woof. Can you hear me? Woof. <coughs> You're talking. Is that not normal? N no. After activating the beacon, you realize that this could be the surprise that Asta mentioned. Best surprise ever, Asta. 
Stop gawking. Well, Astro's really worried about you. Peppy knows, and that's why Peppy is investigating hard to reduce the burden on Miss Asta. Oh, that is very sweet of Peppy. There's some problem with the signal. I can't contact Miss Asta. I smelled something strange that had been that had the lingering whiff of the joy filtration set. I didn't want to tip anybody off, so I decided to stay to stay guard here. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Uh huh. Yes. Oh no, Peppy, get back here. I want to um. How are we supposed to stealth our way through here? I want to uh, control you. stuck. The entire area's access control system is down, woof. Back up. I'll smash the door in. You whip out a baseball bat and start flailing at the metal door with reckless abandon. The rebounding reverberations cause your whole body to go numb, but the door does not budge. Yeah, it is a blast door, probably. Stop smashing it! But this door is super heavy. If you smash it open, you'll be in serious trouble when it falls on you. That's pretty smart, Peppy. Let's think of another way. This height. I think we can get through, woof. Well, you can. I, If I was able to, you know, crawl prone, then I could too. I mean, I could try to low crawl through the door, but, or maybe high crawl. But Stell is so tall. Won't you get stuck if you crouch? Better leave it to Peppy. Now, now, Stell, reach out and touch me. Not on my head. Look for a button on my back. You see it? What? Don't you want head scratches and scritches, Peppy? Peppy's instructions. You find a button, uh, find the button it is talking about and press down on it. Hear an emotionless electronic voice. Activate sync mode. You can connect to my, you can connect my thought signal with the with sync mode. We can communicate via the beacon. Give it a try. Hence, we've Disneyus. We okay? You feel strange. That fluffy pile appears to be your feet. <gasps> yes. Help! I've turned into a dog. What's wrong with being a dog? Absolutely nothing, Peppy. This is the custom beacon that Missy gave me. Uh, that Missy gave me. It's awesome. We still have to track down the missing carryo. Come on. Oh my god. Yes. Let's take a look around this corner really quick, though. I think it's just a locked door, but. Yeah. <laughs> like Peppy's Prince. So cute. Trot. You know, I don't think that's actually how uh, dogs. Move, they don't use move both front paws and both back paws at the same time. These origami cranes serve as a dynamic security for the carrier. They will change the location in real time based on the carrier's position. All of these orga origami cranes. Joy filtration set is up ahead. Oh, those things, yeah. Said we need to find all of them. Get some of our stellar jade. That's, oh, there's the enemies. All right. Gotta avoid them. Presumably we can hide. Woof, 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 woof. What, what, what's the matter, Peppy? Woof, 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 woof. Here we go. While controlling Peppy in sync mode, Peppy gets detected by the nearby monsters, it will activate its emergency escape device and return to the nearest safe safety area. Please observe the monsters' paths and utilize objects in the map to obstruct their line of sight. Reach the destination without being detected by the monsters. Okay, that one's coming. Um... Okay. Here we go, Peppy. Get it, get it, get it, get it.
Can I make it? Uh, I probably shouldn't risk it. I probably could have, but it's too late now. Just have to wait for you to move on by. I love this mini game. I mean, why would they ever want to hurt Peppy? That's just evil. up here though can I not get through this door uh, not working yeah um I think I'll have to wait for it to go back and then back It's coming, it's coming. Go, oh, well. Wait, did I get discovered? Shoot. Okay, caught the, them again. I need to wait for that one to turn around. That one's not coming. Good, 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 good. I was hoping there was a hiding spot up here, but... Is that all of them? Fantastic. Help! Help! I thought I heard something. Sounds like someone's calling out for help. Looks like there's someone stuck... Uh, someone else stuck here. Should we go take a look? I... I suppose. We're doing pretty good so far. Doesn't turn around. Good. Hey. Gotcha. Oh no, it's one of them. Hey there, Wolf. Were you calling for help just now? I got lost. Thank you. Thank you. E thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Wait for you to turn around. Uh, should be good. All the origami cranes. Fantastic. All right. Um. Well, that one should be easy enough. Here we go. Oh, another one. Hey there. Woof. Yeep! You were the one who stole the Karyo. Got you red-handed. Though, you're not human, though. I'm not human, and neither are you. Right. Peppy is a superior life form. I think I'm still hungry. There are, si there are signs that the Joy Filtration Set has been opened. It couldn't be. What exactly have you done with the Karyo? I ate... Something sweet. Gosh, that's fell. That fella's feisty. It ate the joy filtration set like it was a canned pet. Like it was canned pet food. There's no other way. I'll have to report this to Miss to Missy first. All right, you're in the clear. For, you're in the clear now. It's not safe here, so you'd better not linger. 
Woof. Do you want to go on? Let me ask Miss Asta about her opinion. I have to go back and inform her. So you can, you've been communicating with other people this whole time, have you? Why not me? Also, you have a little rocket on your back. That is so cute. Ikario has been eaten, and this is big news. I have to report to Miss Asta. The investigation of the Kirio has, has come to an end. What do you plan to do next? There's something wrong with the facilities in the zone. I'm worried that something might have happened. Come, let me bring you back. Sure. Detective Peppy. Hold on. Almost forgot to unsynchronize. Aw. Woof, woof. I'm sad we're no longer synchronized. Excellent. Oh, we can do level two now. Is this really harder? I guess let's try. Oh, wrong team. Shoot. Woof, woof. Why'd you yell at me? Why or why <laughs> not at me? Why'd you yell for me? The puppy nudges your hand with its fluffed head. You instinctively press the, bu the beacon button on its back. There's more than one joy, joy filtration set lost. As for the other set's whereabouts, I found a clue. Peppy and Stell are the world's best detective duo. You'll help Peppy, right? Absolutely. You have to understand, Peppy, this is my lifelong dream. To be the, you know, the Watson to my fluffy sidekick Sherlock, who is a, just happens to be a dog. The puppy's, the, the puppy's uh, sloppy tongue licks your hand, but seeing that you are unmoved, bites down on your glove and refuses to let go. Ah, of course, we're the best. We're the world's best. Peppy smiles at you, its tail wagging more profusely than before with happiness. Let's go. So sweet. All right. Once again. Yeah, there's no chests in these areas, I don't think. Hey. You leave Peppy alone. I'm with you. The moon shines on the truth. Help! Lend a hand. Alright, uh still. Oh, sorry, uh there you go. Rules are made to be broken. Break it. There you go. Excellent. You impede me. In the name of Landa. A will forged in ice. Never falters. Oh, he got healed. Nice. The fight is set. Um, get those ones. Tedious. And if that worked, no. Guess not. That paradise may be unreachable really for use me. this, but savor it for me. Yeah, I at least killed that one on the right. The left, I mean. Let's make it quick. I feel like there should have been a sound for their reloading there. Blade of moonlight. Thank you for saving me. What was taken should be returned now. You mean that strange can? Oh, you guys are talking about that dusty gray can of mine. I've seen it before, but I didn't steal it. I don't even have the right to touch it. Uh, if it wasn't you, then who? It was the butler. Who's the butler? I saw it playing with that can. It was fiercely protective with it too and it wouldn't let me even glance at it. That guy is a big fat liar. It said it was Ron May's assistant and that Ron May dispatched it here to manage everyone. My buddies and I were banished here because we doubted it. 
such a shame that everyone else believed it. Slies. We have to find the butler and retrieve the curio. You're looking for it? That's gonna be hard, I'm afraid. It controls access to and from the room, and it won't let you in. What do you know about this butler? That's all I know, but my buddies have also interacted with it. It's a pity we all got scattered all, or, or you could go look for them. They might know something. Sure. What was the plan anyways? Are you following me, Peppy? Oh. I think. I, I do get a control Peppy again though, right? There's actually two of these that are um, sealed off. Though the other one is toward, you know, a larger area. Feeling deja vu. This axis control system is completely done for a woof. Why are you on your phone? <laughs> I guess you're waiting. Um, well, there's no antimatter legion in here that I can see. That's good. All right, what do we got? Um, well, Voila. Hey there, you. Woof. What's your name? Just a perplexed creation, huh? Mm hmm? What do you know about the butler? The butler is always tooting its own horn, saying that it keeps in touch with Ron May via the terminal. It also said that it was a, was a unique creation from Madame Ron May. Uh, from Madame Ron May's, unlike us, and that it's a higher life form without biological needs. So it doesn't need food. That's all I recall. Got it. One more clue. Let's go take a look somewhere else. Of course. Do the other one. Not a way to investigate over there. Is there enough? It's just through here. Secret Detective Peppy has arrived! Peppy power! Activate sync mode. <laughs> now there should be antimatter legion. <laughs> Let's see, what are we dealing with? Oh, we're fine. I guess. Actually not seeing any others. Where are they? No one down there, is there? No? I'm not seeing any. Uh, I should be careful here. I'm not sure how good its peripheral is. Keep walking. Man, you're slow. Turn around. There we go. Ooh, whoa. That was a close one. Calling for help? Yeah, probably. This 
save me. Will do. Oh, there you are. Were you the one calling me? Oh, calling out just now? Anyone there? It's so cold, so lonely. Do you know anything about the butler? It gazes at you profoundly and mutters it to itself for a moment. This fellow has many believers, so you have to expose its lies. It, it'd be better to investigate by its side. We may have some luck. Huh. Terminal and investigating by its side, huh? around otherwise you'll catch us yeah hmm. no legion here hey herta I don't want to destroy all these. Smash them. Hey there. I know you. You're the, you shouldn't get too close. What do you know about the butler? Everyone and I were driven out by it. It wouldn't let us return. It said something about monsters destroying the door's lock and causing it to get stuck. I'm not too sure about the rest. Got it. One more clue. St Still, regarding the butler situation, what do you think about all this? I mean, I have no idea. Ah, uh, should we return and ask Miss Asta? Woof. Sniff, sniff. That guy can't be in the zone. I have to go back and find out where he is. All right, then. Let's go. Then let's wait until I report to Miss Asta. Also, the locking and repairing of the zone should will take some time. It's all thanks to you today, Stell. What? No, it's all you, Peppy. You are Peppy's most reliable partner. I'll desynchronize now. You can go back and rest well. I, I will holler if I have any news. Oh, you know what? I'll bet this was, um, originally had a time delay. Yeah, a real time time delay that you had to wait for to unlock the next section. But since it's very close to expiring, we don't have that anymore. All right. Final time. Instruct Peppy. I got all three of those, right? Yeah. Inst <laughs> Instruct Peppy to debate with the security robot to gain access rights. <laughs> got to debate with the security robot, huh? Debate with the butler and expose its lies. Find the Lost Curio Joy Filtration Set. So there's not going to be any uh, hide and seek this time? Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. <coughs> We've found the butler's whereabouts. Where are they? Down the well? Miss Asta uh, has, fallen down the, uh, has fallen down the well? I know where it is. It's hiding in the seclusion zone. Still... Peppy knows you're the strongest. Can you come with me? The puppy gazes at you expe expectantly, tilting its head, its eyes shimmering. It has to be me, of course. Peppy widens its eyes, awed by her confidence. Time is of the eff essence. Let's go. Of course, Peppy. Are you going to follow me? All right. Got a few whiffs of the joy filtration set. Let's go in and take a look. Hmm. Shoot. And this is one where we need to go. Yeah. So let's check this out really quick. All right. Fair enough. Nothing. Nothing here. The scent is faint. Probably no more than 20 Herta system hours. How long is it Herta system hour? This is the monitoring room. It could be carried by someone who was passing by, or it could have been stored here. Err, my puppy brain just can't seem to understand. Let's go find the butler instead. Let's go and take a look. Of course. 
That's the other room I looked at, I guess. Wait, what the? They closed the door on me. You and Peppy turn to leave. The automatic door rises. Or, well, lowers. It suspends awkwardly in midair. The door malfunctioned again. Is this access control system going to be any good? I remember the... the, the that the back end of the security system controls the opening of doors. Let me go in and take a look. All right. Ah, there's the security robot. We got a debate. Woof. This area is closed. No entry. Please, open the door. No, you have no authority. What? This is Peppy, you jerk. Peppy has all the authority. The full authority. The full weight and authority of Miss Asta. And Security Chief Arlen. This guy's attitude is pretty stubborn. I'm not good at communicating. You do the talking instead? Hmm. Have Peppy, Peppy give it a sliding tackle. Show the name card to the little robot. This is my name card. I demand you open the door. Identity confirmed. Space station staff confirmed. Sorry, you are non-human. Not authorized to open the door. Uh, Peppy, give it a sliding tackle. Sliding ta sliding tackle? I, I can't do it. Peppy lowers its head and stares at his paws. Then raises its head and stares at the little robot in the air. Please leave. Have Peppy threatened to <laughs> threaten with the shutdown button. If you refuse to open the door, I will hit your shutdown button and force you to turn off. If threats worked, we wouldn't need security robots. <laughs> Fair enough. Even if I am down, the access control system will not let you pass. Alright, let's let Peppy use my name. Do you know who you've trapped inside? That is Stell. You should know Stell. The one who has the power to single-handedly take down the take on the Doomsday Beast. Aw, oh, I would not say it was single-handed though. I had uh, Himiko and March seventh, and uh, I think March seventh, and you know, oh, and Don Don Hung, and uh, well, Mr. Yang came in at the last moment to help out a lot. If you don't open the door. I'll get Miss Stell to break down this door, shatter your shell with the bat, and smash your shit. Jeez. Man. Peppy's not playing around. That will send sparks down your wiring. The little, the little robot creaks as if afraid. It vibrates for an instant in midair before acquiescing. Access control activation is in progress. Please hold. Access control rights have been transferred. System alert. Warning. Signs of intruders have been detected across the past three months. What is this? Is that figure the butler? They are working together? What did, what did it do? Uh, what did it do to the access control system? Wait, did it tamper with it? The door's open. I'm going to unseek now. Still, hurry up and get out. Thank you, Peppy. Oh, got abnormal images from surveillance records. Peppy backing. <laughs> oh, instead of piggybacking. Oh, it's gone now. Is that the, uh... Is that the butler? It's just three of them stacked together. Ooh, one has really cool shades, though. Oh, yeah, that is the butler. Our door is locked. Where did you come from? Ask him about the curio. Are you suggesting that I stole from you? Do you know who I am? How could I have done such a thing? <laughs> I really love that. It's actually basically three of the little uh, critters, of the dessert critters. Not quite in a trench coat stacked on top of each other, but still. 
Close enough. Get out. You are not welcome here. Oh, man. Kicked me and Peppy out. I didn't think I had that kind of authority or capability. Woof, woof, woof. You want to saunter off, but Peppy stops you with its short legs. Peppy looks like it has something to say to you. Aw, I want to transform. Peppy, attack! Don't rush in. It seems like you had. Seems to have you. Seems to have seen you. Let me go first. Hmm. Woof. I don't know. It's better if you ask someone else about it. Ah, uh, that. That's hard for me to say. The butler didn't permit it to say too much. Yeah. Maybe I should talk to the butler. Oh, hey, is this it? An ordinary looking toilet. You decide to let Peppy flush itself. Let puppy Peppy burrow into the toilet. Decide to let Peppy burrow into the toilet. Sadly, with its short legs, the effort is in vain. Decide to tell Asta later on to give Peppy a bath. <laughs> uh, these toilets. Let Peppy flush itself. Remember the door to a new world, Curio, and convince Peppy. What a pity. Can't even reach the flush. Poor Peppy. He doesn't know the joys of the toilet. Terminal. Where did this dog come from? Shoo, shoo! This guy seems arrogant. It's hard to find a way to communicate with him. Oh, unlike other terminals, this terminal can connect, uh, can contact the outside world due to data protection. Protection. Other terminals are limited within the internet. Let's check the usage logs. Pull the terminal usage logs, but the most recent extra communication logs are empty. <gasps> uh oh. You've been lying. A plate of delectable pastries. Looks like it hasn't been eaten. It is too wasteful to leave on the table. Puppy tucks it into the backpack. What a thrifty puppy. Uh, what a thrifty puppy. I wonder if it'll usually pick and eat all the scattered dog food. Ooh, a freshly baked cake. That looks a little more like stacked fried eggs. Or maybe pancakes. All right. So none of you three. But you. Ooh, gourmand, gourmand creation. Hello? Inquired by the butler's secret. I don't understand what you're saying. My tummy is growling. If you can get me a tasty treat, then I might be able to understand. Well, just so lucky for you. It tastes like the feeling of being loved. Yeah. A stack of pancakes with some blueberries. This reminds me of the Great Miss Ruan May. That's a little tragic considering how Ruan May doesn't uh, actually love you guys. This guy is full of hot air, claiming to not need hot, not there, to not need food. It loves to eat fried rice. I have seen it with my own eyes. It hides the fried rice and eats it behind our backs. Humph. Fried rice is marked by it, and that scent. Anyone who smells it can identify it. There's no denying it. This gourmand creature creation points you somewhere. Oh. Suspiciously, a suspiciously greasy sheen on the leaves and the soil in the surrounding area. 
At your command, Peppy extends its short paws and skillfully digs into the planting area. The box is emitting an odd aroma. The fried rice. But did enough evidence now. Now we can go back and throw it in the butler's face. Literally. Throw the rice in his face. Hey, butler. New face? Are you a space station researcher? You, you, you've already forgotten me? Enough of that. Hand over the curio. What curio? I have no idea what you're talking about. The two of you, on the other hand, there are monsters rampaging outside. We've kept the door locked up all this time. How did the two of you get in? Care to explain? You are the one who broke the access control. Mr. Butler, is this for real? Uh... Shh, hold your horses. I am Miss Ron May's assistant, and I'm responsible for managing everyone. How can I possibly lie to everyone? Her identity is also fake. I don't know how we could have possibly seen through it, but you're really... Ah, is this true? Quiet. Miss Ron May taught me. The more you debate, the clearer the truth becomes. Since we are all here today, Let's have a debate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> going down. Buying is second nature to this guy. Today we're going to show him who's boss. Help me, Miss Del. The debate starts now. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, based on the social etiquette that Miss Ron May told, taught me, I should have, uh, I should have simply exchanged pleasantries with the new guests. Miss Ron May really taught you this? Is this not normal etiquette for civilized beings? You don't even know this? I am unsure what it is about me that you dislike, but I have learned patience with, from Miss Ron May. You have a problem, then let, let it be known. Let's hash it out one by one. Actually, based on it, yeah. Did you know Miss Ron May you, uh, created me using rare materials? This makes me innately highly ethical. My character is unquestionable. Extremely high morals. I've even received high praise of moral. I've even received praise of high morals. Have you had them? If you don't even have that, then you are not fit to say you have morals. <laughs> Stell's got a point. I am highborn, and that is an is it an it. It is enough that I receive praise from Miss Ron May. Something is not right. Everything in Nate still needs to be nurtured. It didn't mention anything about his motivation. There must be something wrong here. Your claim of me behaving immorally, deliberately locking the door to trap everyone in here is laughable. The access control switch is installed so high that I can't even reach it. Who says that you can't lock a door when it's out of your reach? What if you can jump? Or with someone uh, lifting you up? You might as well say I can expand and grow five meters tall instantly. It's all slander anyway. Who cares? That's not right. The access control system is auto-sensing and managed by security robots. Still, it's purposely diverting the topic. But evidence we have as a rebuttal. Um, the abnormal surveillance records? It's, it's like a phoenix, right? We have evidence. Here's the surveillance footage provided by the security robot. The one that's acting suspiciously toward the access control system is you. <laughs> they even got the sound effects. Access controls? I have never seen this. It piqued my interest when I walked past it, so I touched it. <laughs> you and I, we are not the same species. The stuffing inside of us determines our character and integrity. Miss Ron May's endless pursuit in advancing life forms has led to the creation of the unique being that is me. Well, the stuffing inside you is clearly rotten. You're not that special. You can't even compare to Peppy. Damn straight. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, 
how unique am I? Oh, how unique I, uh, I how unique am I as a fellow Ron May's creation? For example, Miss Ron May does not wish for me to be affected by lowly physical needs, so I do not even need to eat. Oh, objection. Not eating food means it's advanced, and the little robot is more advanced than Peppy. Fooey. I'm sorry, from the complex complexity of the species, it should be. Those creations are of Ron May clearly eat. It's definitely lying. Objection! Not needing food? What is this? Explain yourself. It has your scent on it, and your kin can all smell it. There's no denying it. I only wanted to try what the space station researchers would eat. I'm curious, and when you're curious, it's like that. Hmm. Ahem. Maybe there is something wrong with my ethics. Whatever Ron May assigns me, I will do my best. I have never lied to anyone. Ah, but have you ever talked to Ron May? You already admitted that you have poor ethics, and you still have the cheek to say that you did not lie to everyone? That's a separate issue. Curiosity kills the cat. These things are common, and I have never denied that I make mistakes dealing with people. But this is not a lie. I have never lied to everyone. You lied up several times, we've already proven that. If I were like that, I would run May even let me be butler. She and I have always communicated through the terminal. She entrusts me to manage everyone. I've reported everyone's performance to her, and she's very pleased with me. Report everyone's performance? Ron May never gave anyone anyone orders. Where are, what is there to report? Lies! No, you don't understand her. She actually cares a lot about us. I wish. I do. Everything that has happened... Even the most trivial details will be reported to her. Actually, she cares a lot. Since she left, she's been missing everyone. I mean, she has inquired a little bit, but... I will tidy up the details of the report. Recent food intake, activities, or troubles. Matters big or small, I will report them back to her. What is it going to report with those short hands? Can it even reach the terminal keyboard? Peppy, you reached the terminal keyboard. It tries, to, it tries to divert the conversation. Objection! Oh, you use the terminal to communicate with her? But the communication history clearly does not reflect it. I used other communicate. I used other equipment to communicate with her. I, I. I used other equipment to, com to communicate with her. You're lying. This is the only terminal that can communicate with the outside world. All the other terminals can only be used on the intranet. Debate success. Speechless. At a loss for words. Your lies have been exposed. Happy and you exposed the lies of the butler. He stands rooted to the ground, looking at you, distraught. Turn the curio. Do you still want to debate over it? No need. I have already lost. Oh, he's the depressed butler now. The thing is in the back. You can go get it. There are monsters roaming back there, so I dare not go near. It keeps it. It keeps its silence, staring at the uh, the non-existent gaps in the floor, wishing it can hide itself. Peppy attempts to communicate with it, but it refuses to respond. Aww. Forget it. Don't bother. Let's retrieve the curio. I will unsync first, and you can relax. Peppy unsynced. Woof. <laughs> Ramay's Christians are very upset with the butler. They no longer want to be friends with it. You've been very bad, butler. I hope you ponder your actions today. Fight. 
I've already won two of the debates. Um, geez. Alright, that's it. I think uh, it's just those two basic retreat with the carryo to uh, complete this one, so. I'm with you. The moon shines on the truth. Woof, woof, woof. Yeah, the sound effects are definitely down. Try harder. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. This ends here. None of you need to fire. I guess it's just that one. Tedious. We're fine. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Let's go. I wonder if Peppy was actually voiced. That would be tragic if he was. Ha! Let's uh, work on these guys. All nice. will be revealed. Let's get you three. In lunar flame. Nice. 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 Reach the end of the story in your own way. We found it, Peppy. That's weird, though. My last time the sound died out, I don't think I could hear my footprint. Or my, you know, my footsteps. Or anything like that. Woof, woof. You can see the admiration and appreciation from Peppy's gaze. Peppy sniffs the joy filtration set, its tail wagging furiously. Seems like this must be the missing curio. Peppy extends a furry paw, paw towards you, hinting you to grab it. <laughs> woof? woof? Hmm? Peppy stares at you in bewilderment. Woof, woof, woof. Peppy stares at you happily. Peppy smiles at you, waking its tail, and signaling you to leave this place all together. Uh, this place together. There we go. Peppy found the joy filtration set. I know you're definitely to thank for this, Stell. Peppy alone definitely couldn't do it. I don't know. Peppy carried all, you know. Peppy did the hard work. What pitch is... What pitch of woof is he using? What? I wonder what pitch of woof Peppy makes when he is glazing me up. Next time, you can ask him in person. Alright, enough about Peppy for now. I actually wanted to talk with you about something else today. You should go back and talk with the robot helper. It discovered something pretty wondrous near its location. How wondrous? You'll be you'll see as soon as you get over there. To keep the surprise, I won't spoil anything. Oh, all right. The beetle swallowed her. What? Rame's worried creation. I saw it with my own eyes. That beetle swallowed her. A frail little girl, swallowed by a beetle alive. Oh, that was me. Where did you see it? Because I didn't. There's a door in the lower level of the pharmaceutical room. I was right outside there. The shuttle station? It's, it's, it is quite dangerous over there. Poor girl. Wait, is she still alive? Could she have... She's definitely still alive. I could still hear her yelling for help through the beetle's outer shell when I lit when I left. She's still inside the beetle's stomach. I I think it's talking about me, but also embellishing a little. Still, you're here. Anything wondrous happened lately? Well, 
Aww. Temple robot gestures for you to look at the creation by its side. Are you blind? Haven't you noticed how ma splendidly magnificent I am? I did. You look like Herta. You're not the first one to say that. It's a wisteria cake. It is the first create. It is the first creation of Ron Mays that asks that's asked to see you. Let me see this legendary stell then. Show me what is what in holy heck people see. Take a good look. Hmm. Pretty tall. Nice. I didn't just come to see you. No. I'm researching my origin story, my background, my race, my genes, all of that stuff. Most of it is still blank to me. I might be able to help you. Unfortunately, even with this brain of mine, I still can't get the answer I'm looking for. My research has hit a bottleneck, and now I need your help. I know nothing about science, a bottleneck. Don't worry, just listen to this, so your ignorance doesn't impede my research. It's pretty rude for someone who's asking for help. Before I inform you about my mighty research project, I'd like to introduce you to a friend. Who's the companion? Aww, so cute. Oh, hey, it's the butler. Hello, I'm just in, I'm just here by invite. Don't mind me. Why did Miss Ron May create you? Sniffle, this is not fair. Uh, shut up. You're such a scammer, acting all high and mighty. Don't ever talk to my friends like that again. All right, apart from this arrogant friend of mine who won't quit stalking me, don't you feel surprised? Looks a little familiar. She and I have very similar traits, which were caused by gen uh, genetic mutations. But I have no idea as to why I might look like some of these other people you know. But I think it has something to do with you. Isn't that right, Stell? I, I don't know. I suspect this is all connected to some kind of spiritual level. On some kind of spiritual level. But I have far too few samples to research, so that's why I'd like to uh, ask you for your help in nurturing more creations with a few more rare traits. If you really can't manage that, then nurture some more ordinary creations. I can get by, so long as I have enough samples. I'm sure. I was going to do that anyways. Research, your research topic is exactly the same as that of the space station. So, Stell, can you think of a way to nurture these rare creations? This is the last piece of the puzzle remaining for the space station's research program. Sure, let me try. I believe in you. It's fine since our goals are aligned. I have some things for you that might you might find helpful with your nurturing job. Oh, thank you. Innocent orange cream taro. Oh, look at his little face, the little nose thing. I really do look like little cats underneath a cushion. Innocent coffee corn chip. Innocent honey bean corn chip. All adorable. <laughs> All right. Time for the final three. <laughs> Hi, Patch. Cool coconut corn chip. Very cool. There we go. The special mutation. Wisteria cake. Oh, hey. It's Herta. We made another wisteria cake. I think I was supposed to make wisteria cake before I met wisteria cake. These are Madame Ron May's creations. No one that looks like you. On Mac reply. Hi, I am currently unavailable. I won't be contacting you later. Even his personality is like yours. Oh. Hi, I'm currently on a... Oh, Herta. It never changes. I think that's it. Perfect. Lucky snack. Aw. You're so cute. Come on, who's it gonna be? Ah, Chingchua. 
Go ahead and work. And just don't interrupt my game. It looks just like you. <laughs> Kinda does. Can it play Celestial Jade? Uh, probably not. Look at its hands. I don't think so. Look at its paws. I don't think it can hold, the t hold tiles. True. Remember to ask if it has any interest in Celestial Jade. If the answer is yes, then come to the Lawfu and we can be game buddies. <laughs> oh, Chingtra. I like you a lot. Back scratcher. <laughs> that was the last one, right? No, there's one more. That I miss. <laughs> Bossy orange cream tar. Got the sunglasses finally. Nice. That's it. Yep. You. Its sunglasses are very cool. Not sure where you where it found them. Doesn't have. Oh, it does have sunglasses just on the top of its head. Shader cat. <laughs> oh, I know who this is. This is totally Kafka, isn't it? Mother, I have a photo for you. Yo, look. Let Kafka look. Can you send it over to Kafka for me? Wait, how do you know I was going to send off you photos? Take a guess. Just send it over. Cute. <laughs> Silver Wolf is always on top of things. I'm not sure what this thing is. But looks like you put a lot of energy into it. Kafka's pretty happy. Thank you, Stell. I really like it. Silver Wolf? Uh, Silver Wolf and I are uh, out on a job. Catch you later. Don't worry. Bye bye. <laughs> uh oh. If they're out on a job, uh, well, crap's about to go down. Yes, Asta? Thanks for the help with the research, Stell. Speaking of which, did you see the creation that looks like Madame Herta? Isn't it interesting? What did it say to you? Oh, I'll tell you. Oh, you're talking about Wisteria Cake. Yeah, she looks a bit like Herta. And the personality's the same. Come on, damn it. Um, or even the personality is a bit similar. And she likes science. Day, that day, she brought a few sidekicks with her and told me that she wanted to finish a gene sequencing project requesting that I nurture more creations for her to use for an in-depth research. <sighs> Though I'm not sure if I, I understand why Madame Ron May's creations will be so similar to Madame Herta. I'm more curious about the sidekicks she had with her. Do these people look similar, uh, look like other people? Uh, not exactly. I'm kind of sad I didn't see any Asta ones. They look exactly the same. Exactly. I think it's almost a splitting image, right? I dub it the Micro Herta, and there is also a Mini May. <laughs> That's good. Uh, those, the two little critters are pretty special. Their, their situation... The helper bot sent me a report. Sent me the report. Right. Bot said it wants to see you. It sounds like the little ones that look like Herta... Uh, the little one that looks like Herta has some problems. I'm not sure what they're trying to get up to. I have too much on my plate, so I can't uh, so I can't leave. Besides, I always ask for you specifically. Anyway, Stell, head over when you have the time. That's a very Herta way of doing things. <laughs> That's mean. Mm -hmm. Uncalled for, Stell. Ooh, look at that. Got all the traits. Nice. I gotta accommodate some more creations. Let's, uh... Put the cool, too cool for school one. Where is... Yeah, Kafka. And... I don't know. I guess you. Oh, that's such a cute sound. The color on top of my head is natural. Did you get yours dyed somewhere? What, me? Stell? No, 
Oh. Alright, uh... You... Three all deserve... To sit here. Never thought I'd ever meet someone with exactly the same temper as me. Eh. We are... With that, we are, um... We need to finish up this last task, I think. Where are you? Hey, little robot. Dare Stell, Peppy has arrived at the designated zone. The zone has been sealed off. Do we enter? No. Oh, insider. I oh, will need to talk to these guys sometime, but... I mostly want to finish this quest for now. Still, thank you for all your hard work over the past few days. The space station's research has basically been completed. However, there's one last thing I'd like to task you with. What is it? Don't worry, this is really easy. To be precise, it's her who wants some to help with something. Ooh, oh, Landa's friend? Oh, it's me. You may have noticed that I have the same aura and traits as Ronmei herself. Yeah. Where did the creations here get the two of us mixed up? So you must be very popular then. You really do look very similar to Miss Ronmei. That's actually why I keep following you around. So really, it's you two who are our little lambdos. Uh. <laughs> little lambdos, uh. Followers, not following Wisteria. Everyone misses her so much, and I even hear some creation whis creations whisper, Mommy! But unfortunately, I am not Ronmei. I want to do whatever I can for them. Do you want to pay Ronmei? Do you want Ronmei to, Ron to pay them a visit? If she could, that would be best. But knowing her temperament, I don't think she'll be coming back. You know all the tricks aboard the space station, so I know you must have a way of reaching Miss Ron May. I mean, I can call her, or try. She did say she was going to be out of range eventually, though. We'd like you to take some photos and send them to her. First up, here's my official request. A photo of me with her, and you have to send it to her. I'm curious about how she and her to will react. <laughs> I mean, I did send photos of you all to, her, uh, to them. And then a group photo of all our, all the other creations. You can take a few photos and send all uh, send her all of them. And well, even if she leaves the messages unread, at least we'll be passing on everyone's feelings. Don't worry, she'll check it out. I'm counting on you then. Hmm. All right then. Alright. Oh, I have to stand in the middle. Don't steal my best angle. Make sure I look good. You already look great. I wonder if Ron May will be able to notice me. Hmm? You little ones. Stand over there. Listen to the big Notice. fellow. Not uh, now. Understood? Aw. Oh, one more circle, everyone. Oh, hurt it. All those ones are all stacked together like that. <laughs> Some things never change, uh, Butler. All right, wait, I don't want, I'm supposed to be taking a picture. Oh, to touch up the background, I see. There we go. Does that count? I guess not. Oh, do you have a photo? There we go. Oh, I got a cat for all of them though. There we go. <laughs> I heard the helper robot reporting, uh... Oh, Genius Society comms. The helper robot reporting about some recent happenings. If you're going to take group photos, it's best to bring in the person who is directly involved. Screw, um... I have... Oh, that's cool. 
Hmm. Run May just got back just in time to. Asta has invited Stell into group chat. Oh, I wasn't there for those two. Mm hmm. I just got back from a desolate region to a place with signal. What a chance encounter. I was just looking for you. Great. I was looking for you, Madame Ron May. What is it? Oh, it's too large. Send it as an attachment. It'll be clearer that way. What's this? Let me have a look. <laughs> I like her stickers. I've heard that organic life forms are capable of expressing affection in a variety of ways. These creations have exhibited infinite possibilities. Marvelous. I didn't expect them to develop such an ex to such an extent. It's almost like a miniature civilization. Yeah, kinda. They are still in their infancy. Calculated per the metrics of organic creatures' lifespans, their society is but in its cradle. Anything you want to say to them? It's enchanting. This might just be my most beautiful accident. Maybe I'll visit the space station again soon and visit these little ones. Hmm. Well, don't get their hopes up. We don't mean it. These creations are currently being taken care of by Stell and the helper robot. If you need anything, please contact me at any time. I mean, that'd be a little too... That'd be, ah, this one's more relevant. Hmm, most certainly. <laughs> and that is the end. Qualified caretaker. Well, that was a lot of fun. I suppose I could go around talking to the uh, various different creature uh, creatures. Also, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, some enemies, a tough enemy over there, and a puzzle over here that I want to do. But for the most part, this is all done. Just in time, too. Oh. Ron May. How are those two doing lately? Did they learn to how to coexist? Um. Which which two? I left it in the space station. So you do care about them. Didn't realize you still cared about them. Mm, a little. Oh, gray, gray bean paste and uh, melted uh, cheese tart. Yeah. I accommodate them in the space station. I taught mel molten, molten cheese tart, not melted. Silly me. Molten cheese tart to master humility and let gray bean paste have a positive outlook on life. Thank you, Stell. When would I forget you? It may be eventually. I look forward to experiencing new stories with you. Okay, I promise. In the future, research will still continue. Oh yeah, ba Alabaster Head. Can't forget about that guy. Is he a friend of yours? Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Very curious. My guess was a member of the Genius Society, but I would think Ron May would know him then. Of course, it's possible he doesn't just go around with the alabaster face all the time. Second guess would maybe be unlikely as it is, but Elio? Probably not. <laughs> Maply humming. Aw. Well. Alright, I have nine, six more attempts try and get Kafka before it really is too late. Ooh, we did get a hook. That's sweet. And that's a no. That's unfortunate. Yep. I don't have enough uh, glitter or whatever in order to get it, I don't think. I guess I could try. Ah, it's not going to be that many wishes, though. 
Definitely not enough to get to pity. She's not even guaranteed anyways for us. Actually, I'm at 41 wishes right now. Which... I, I might actually be able to do it. I, I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to convert everything in case I don't need it. But I'm, you know, I'll convert the rest if I have to. All right, we got just uh, make the world clamor. Cool. get another Natasha though. Hey Natasha. It's you. Well, I guess I have to go to uh, my actual menu to give you your Eidolons. All right. Let's see. Still no. Got a Sushang and, oh, Clara and Hook and Sparog. That's a sweet one. Harmony, huh? Is Clara Harmony? I don't think so. Nope. Well, that is a real shame. Maybe with the... Uh, actually, let me double check something. Yeah, I got some more. Um, I was going to say maybe with the uh, Stellar Jade we get tomorrow. I could maybe get it um, with another wish, but... Another Natasha. Kafka Genius's response And Nope One more Wish <gasps> There we go Alright Is it 50-50 Come on Kafka used up every resource I had on it, but I'd say it paid off. Absolutely worth it. And now I have all three of them. Blades, Silverwolf, and Kafka. I wonder if they'd make a good team. I mean, Blade inflicts damage over time. Right, because he's wind. Really, it's just Wind, Pyro, and Electro, I think, are the, the three big ones that she wants in her team. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, on that note, I think I'll call this one good. <laughs>